Welcome to add a bit of style to your pages. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the great visual um, possibilities we have to communicate with our users in Business Central is the ability to change the style of a field. And when I say style, uh, it's very, very specific. Um, there are there are, there is a set of styles then then uh, text can be formatted with. So you can you can decide that this um, this field should always be bold. But actually, you are not actually deciding that, or this field should be red. Uh, uh, at some point, and actually, actually, let me share my screen. Just so here is my business central. But I found the style property page on. Microsoft documentation, and um, styles have these funky names. Um, none and standard. I'm not sure what the difference is between none and standard. Um, we can try in a minute. But then it's like standard accent. Well, that means blue. Accent is blue. Um, strong is bold. That kind of makes sense. That's almost the only one that makes sense. So strong accent, that means blue and bold. Attention is red and italic. Attention accent. So accent was, standout accent was blue, but attention accent is blue and italic. Uh, but attention without accent is red and italic. Favorable is bold and green, and unfavorable is bold, italic, and red. Ambitious, ambiguous, I think it says, is yellow and subordinate is gray. So those are some great names. And, and of course, they give the most of the liberty to say that, no, we don't want this one to be blue anymore. We want accent to be pink and then it's still accent but but it's kind of weird that you have to remember these these things um so this list is good but anyway let's um, let's look on, on on how we can actually make this work how can we use this um and we can just you know go with the uh with the customers uh so I, i'm going to create a page extension here Get a number and customer list. Wow. Customer list extends customer list. Um, and I want to work in the layout. So let me modify the name column. Um, and what I can do here is that I can say style equal and then I get all these. So let's go with attention, attention accent. That's it. That's our that's our program. Let's let's try it out. See what happens. We are deploying. I hit a five to deploy. Uh, the first time you deploy an app, it takes a few seconds more than. Uh, uh, the next time. So uh, there we go. We are deployed. Let's see if we need to log in. Of course, we need to log in. And uh, so now we can see that it's italic. But these are still links in this case. So actually, let's change this uh, from tiles to a list. Um, so what, well, let me be sure I remember what I said. I said attention accent. And we got blue plus italic. Well, we got, at least we got italic. It looks like we got a, got more like a, a linky green and italic. Um, and we could we could change other other fields too, um, but that 
when we do it like this, then we are changing every single record. Um, so if we want to make it more uh, data-driven, we're not going to use the style command. Instead, we're going to use the other one. It's a friend called style expression. And style expression is a string. So we could do the, the <laughs> if I can spell, we could do the exact same thing here. Um, so let's try this. So now I, I gave this instead of a, as a code constant. So here it's served as a code constant, uh, but now it's just a string. So if I hit a five on that one, we can see we get the exact same thing. But if I then instead say, okay, let me create a global variable here called my style, which is text. Then we assign my style to this. Um, then I'm able to control this. So let's let on page on open page. I could go and say my style is. And let's grab another one here. Which one should we go for? Let's grab uh, this guy. See how that looks. Now it's, well, the, the documentation is saying that this is yellow. But it's, maybe it's mustard. That's kind of yellow. Uh, otherwise it's, it's puke colored. Anyway, it's, it's, let's say it's yellow. Um, but since now that that is a string, what we could do is we could create it. Let's create a procedure called set style. Um, and we could say that if rec dot cost, no, let's do like this case rec dot customer posting group of and I think in this domestic, in, in this database, we have domestic, EU, and export, I think is the last one. Let's see. Um, so now we could, instead of this, we could say that perhaps, let's get rid of home page here. Perhaps export is the the weird one. EU EU is very blue. Blue. So what is? Uh, but we don't have blue, right? That's the problem. Let's try with the green then. And since the blue turned green, let's see if green turns blue. And then domestic could be could be bold, italic, and red unfavorable. So now we have a function that will set the style, but then we need to trail this function. Um, and we need to trigger it in two places. Uh, on after get record. And this is kind of weird. Um, then we need to also trigger it on after get current record. Um, and in in the olden days, uh, it was typically it was enough to work on after get record, but with the amount of caching and and preloading and all the stuff that's happening on especially on list forms now, uh, it seems that sometimes if we do just one of them, some records are missed. So so I just do both of them, then I'm happy. Um, and the table has a function called says set 
So let's actually rename this to set my style. How about that? Let's see how that goes. Now they're all red. So why is that? Is that because everything is this one? Everything's probably domestic. Let's set this to EU. Oh, I looked at the general posting group. You know what? Let's change the code. That's why. So let's. Apparently, I looked at the general posting group before I. Turn on the video. There we go. Let's see if that's better. Da, 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 da. Boom. So green is actually, so I forgot which one I took now. I, I said favorable. That one is bold and green. Yes. It's just the the blue apparently in some cases decides not to be blue. Um, I think I've seen blue in some, so I don't know why that was green here. But as you can see, and you 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 have a way now to really make the UI ugly uh, if if this is overused. But, but you also have the, the ability to communicate something extra to your users without taking up more screen real estate. Um, and this can be anything from, you know, this field needs to be filled out uh, to, uh, to a wrong value or this is a good, good thing, something um, you, you have have a way to communicate uh, without taking up uh, real estate which is is pretty nice so typically you would only want only want to do one field that is behaving like that on a page uh, because otherwise if you have two different fields that can turn red and one field means something and another field means something else that could be confusing for users um, but you have the power um, and that is how you add a bit of style to your list pages. Uh, if you want to see more AL hacking, this video is for you. Go check it out. It's good stuff in this one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.